everyone. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic of Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio and Love, Peace, and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is your mid-month March 2017 update for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Northern Node. And we're going to get started with a word of clarity from my custom words of clarity deck. These are available. They are custom designed for each owner and to commission the channeling of one for yourself, you can contact me at the information shown on the screen. The word that comes out for you for this mid-month reading is success and the bottom of the deck says satisfaction. Now those are some nice words. We like to see words like that. It's a beautiful thing. So let's get some added insight, some added intuitive message. We're going to see what a play school flashcard deck has to say to us today with this intuitive card reading. Let's see what message comes out for us today. What is the message? Most important thing that goes with the satisfaction and success for Virgo to understand at this time. We love satisfaction and success. Those feel so good. We love how those feel. So let's see what comes out. Okay, that one right there. Okay. The gray cat. Wow. Okay. Another sign got six gray cats. And just like in that reading, in this reading, the first thing that I got was intuition. Following your intuition to create and um, also using your spiritual uh, abilities to create and so to create situations that we like to see and that if that doesn't go with the word success and satisfaction well I don't know what does so now we'll use the radiant right away and just see what other messages we have that are coming out okay there was our first card excuse me didn't mean to book the camera so we have justice at the center a Libra may be important, and I think Libra may have been the video that I was talking about, but uh, Justice card at the center. Things in fairness, balance, the current situation has to do with justice. Are you dealing with a legal situation? If you are, it looks like you'll reach success in regards to it. For others, this is about setting things straight and making things fair. And so, again, following your intuition, you're rooted in self-stability, abundance, prosperity, ability to care for yourself and those that you belong in, and, and, and you're actually safe. I mean, you have everything you need. You're coming from a position of having rather than lack. You're coming from a position of ability and <clears throat> savings and Okay, this card showed its face to me. I gotta pull it out. The magician is in your past. Let's see what else is coming out to enhance this clarity here. This one wants to come out. And this one. Okay, so it just looks like right now we just need to be patient. You know, we have success assured. We have things working out on our behalf. We have major transformation going on. You know, that's the message that Spirit has for you. Is you're going through major transformation, but all of this is taking you to a guaranteed success. With the Seven of Pentacles there, it's a divine, a divine culmination on a physical level. And so I see like... Justice is coming in for you in regards to this situation. Um, if it's a legal situation, you're going to be able to move away from it in peace and satisfaction. And if it's about uh, something within yourself that's felt off balance, you're going to be gaining some clarity and some understanding about just how great your position is. And it's going in with what you had asked for in the past that you could understand this. And your intuition is going to speak it to you. It's going to come right out of your intuition, right into your understanding. And so you, you'll, your understanding of this time, it's just, it's time to be patient and let things take their natural course. With death, you got to let things take a natural course. Let it evolve on its own. It is evolving. Everything is coming into balance for you. What you thought was not working out and what you thought was not going to 
um, be successful for you. It is. And, and I feel like you're getting tired of putting in the work, of being patient, of doing things the right way for somebody even. But yet and still, that's exactly why you're seeing this very success and satisfaction that you're getting. Continue to follow your intuition. Don't try to change yourself and bring yourself down because that's not the popular course or because other people would do it differently or because somebody thinks that there's a better way for you to do something or whatever is the reason. Don't bring yourself down to some level that you ain't on. You're doing great. Maintain position because the next thing that comes in after this is going to be abundance, 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 and an infinite, uh, infinite possibilities, infinite supply. But right now, we're still kind of Oh, yes, we're still in a place where we have to really just trust that it's coming. It's, this is a, about trust. This is um, confronting the challenges that you have placed in your own mind and reality. So that way you can just make it through. The challenges are there. But it, this is a chance to overcome those challenges. This is a chance to persevere while the physical manifestations are still in transformation so that they can come around to matching the spiritual place you're in because you got to understand is the physical is a reflection of the spiritual as, as spiritual is right the physical morphs and changes its appearance according to that inner self and so you have strong intuition follow your intuition and you've been doing that keep it up don't grow weary of it continue forward it seems so long before things actually are ripe and ready but honey it's always worth it so try to get yourself into a state of peace about it and let it come to a peaceful place i also see this for somebody this is about a separation because uh your partner and the child actually left and so now you're just like what the heck is left well apparently you still have a lot left with the seven of pentacles there there's a lot of different things still coming out for you so if you recently went through a separation where somebody um it left your life that you really cared for and possibly even left with a child that you care for or love or is your own understand that everything is going to be okay it doesn't make the situation that particular situation better but there is something good coming in it there's nothing that you go through in life that doesn't contain a blessing you're challenged some time to see the blessing because you don't believe there's a blessing there and if you don't believe there's a blessing there you won't be able to see it so you got to know that there's a blessing there so that you can see it and if you don't know that one way you can work on that is to reflect on your own stories and stories of others you've met in your life in which there has been a trial a challenge a circumstance that seems so horrible but then all of a sudden some magic happened and some something worked out or there was a miracle or something went better than expected or a blessing in disguise and so just focus in on those types of experiences because they're real they really do happen and they happen every day they happen for me they happen for you they happen for all of us it's just most of us are too busy focused on what we don't have what we don't like what we don't want that we don't get to see what we do have what we do like what we do want so a simple simple shift in perspective will help bring in um, this balance which is there this is the energy in your life you can't take it away it's there universe is trying to create balance in your life it's trying to make things fair what you've given out you should get back you'll be rewarded for all that you've done in the past if you did bad congratulations it's coming back to you if you did good congratulations it's coming back to you if you did nothing congratulations it's coming back to you but that's not possible really because your mind is always doing something so even if it's just based off of your mind as long as what your intentions were if you're aware of those be aware they're coming back if your intentions were not pure fix those things get things straight make things balanced make things even make things fair make it just okay so these are the divine messages that i have received for virgo mid-month march 2017 and I'll also I want to remind you that your daily tarot readings are available. I have three dailies, a daily general, a daily money, and a daily romance. So come on my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Tap the little bell so you can get notified when I upload those. And uh, check them out because if you're a subscriber and if you're an active supporter on my channel, then 
very likely the questions that's on your heart, especially if you set an intention to it, you'll find some solutions and some answers in, in these readings that come out. Also, um, if you'd like to have a personal reading in which we address your own situation, circumstances, and questions for specifics, then you can contact me. The information is here on the screen. It's also below the video, or you can go to my website. My website is www.lphtarot.com. That's L-P-H Tarot, as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.